Good morning. Good morning. This morning's not an easy morning for, for many here. And uh, today we will say a farewell to Anthony. We'll have an order of worship, a memorial ceremony, some words from family, and uh, to share a few things and a few thoughts about somebody who's touched all of your lives. And certainly, it's not an easy day, but it is an important one. I want to begin with this, with this reading. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring to you today, which comes to us from Exodus, the 14th chapter. Let us pray. We gather here to commend our brother Anthony to God, our Father, and to commit his soul to the earth in the spirit of faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Let us offer our prayers for Anthony. We read in sacred scripture, come you who are blessed by my father, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And also from Philippians, our citizenship is in heaven and from it we also await a savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. Judy, would you like to come and say a few words before? <coughs> Sorry. I like to read a poem I found. And it's called, When I Come Home to Heaven. When I come home to heaven, how joyful I will be. For on that day at last, my risen Lord I'll see. No greater happiness than to see him face to face, to see the, the love in his eyes and feel his warm embrace. I've done nothing to deserve that perfect home above. It was given freely through the grace of Jesus' love. Then why should earthly cares weigh down upon me so? There'll be a distant memory when home at last I go. This morning when the Lord opened a window to heaven, he saw me and asked, my child, what is your greatest wish for the day? I responded, Lord, please take care of the person that is reading this message, their family and their special friends. They deserve it and I love them very much. The love of God is like the ocean. You can see it beginning, but not its end. Yeah. A bit of a eulogy I would like to share with you, and then I'm going to share some words. Anthony loved his son, Joshua, deeply. He loved his family. Tony was very protective of his sisters and brother. Tony had a great deal of patience. Tony always wanted to better himself. Tony loved to ride his motorcycle and play his guitar. Tony had great faith in God. He read his Bible every day and encouraged all of us to do the same. Tony was deeply loved by all of us. His sister adds, Tony was very handsome. <laughs> he had a great sense of humor. Tony was kind-hearted. Tony would help anyone if possible. Tony will be greatly missed but will remain forever in the hearts of those who've known him. Today I come to uh, also represent that other part of the family, the part that uh, Tony devoted to, himself, to, uh, to us, because he raised his right hand and said that he would defend his nation. And as an Army chaplain, I know that there are certain qualities that we, we, we honor and sacrifice and, and loyalty and, and affection for us is very, is very important. Now, I was, I was watching the rogues gallery there in the, in the photographs, and, and uh, the, the big hair days and the polyester suits uh, that, that, that have defined our generation pretty much, certainly the, the one that Tony and I are in. And uh, there were hard times. We were a hard generation. 
given a lot of mixed messages, given a lot of uh, misunderstandings where we, we didn't know what family was supposed to be sometimes because people were telling us one thing and other things happened. But I know that, and I know that Tony ran into some trouble from time to time, but I also know that he was a man of conviction. And uh, for example, I know that uh, Jody was share sharing with me, he said, uh, well, he was a born again Christian. Well, he, he was a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> and, th and that defines most of us, but, but he, he, I don't think he ever stopped searching and trying to have that dialogue that, that would help him to understand who and what he was. And that's all part of the human experience. One of the things that really captured me in the photographs is, is, is that he was a handsome guy, yeah, but, but, he, but he, he smiled a lot. And that, that's probably the most, attra uh, most attractive attribute anybody can have, because it meant that he was open and willing. You know, there are sad things around his, his, his death, certainly, but not so sad about his life. We can, we can celebrate his life. And something you were sharing with me, too, being able to spend a month with him, and, and so that there aren't the regrets that you might have had otherwise. His life is already full of enough regrets, we know. And uh, so we just ask the Lord to take him into his care. And, and as he passes, we, we, grant, we ask that God grant him peace. And we ask God to grant us that too. And maybe a bit of success in our futures, a bit of uh, maybe in our days ahead, we won't have as many regrets. And maybe we can just share a little bit of the spirit that Tony had with those around us in the days that remain. Amen. There isn't too much more you can say that the Lord grant us that in the future. Um, I, I have a soft spot for guitar players. Okay, being a musician myself, and uh, what 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 a beautiful legacy to leave. I would just hope. I know that uh, Joshua can't be here. I would just hope that people can reach out to him. You know, in the strangeness of families. You know, the strange dynamic that that comes with families that people can reach out to him in love and affection and help him know that this side of the family is there always for him and uh, that, that he has a legacy and something to uphold and uh, that that's an important rich part of of his future that is just what family's about one thing that i've learned is family is very inconvenient um, and some family members are more inconvenient than others um, they usually go on Jerry Springer or something. Like that. <laughs> but uh, it's when we cross those inconvenient lines that the true richness happens. So I'm hoping that you as a family can, can really do that and, and, and bring peace to that whole dynamic. It's there. It takes courage. It takes a lot of love, a lot of forgiveness. But then again, that's what the Lord showed us in abundance and continues to show us in abundance. With that, let us, let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you and so made the grave a sign of hope, the promised resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother may sleep with you in peace until you awaken him to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life, then he will see you face to face and in your light you will see light and know your splendor and the splendor of God. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. One more prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, remember the mercy in which you graced your servant Anthony in life. Receive him, we pray, into the mansions of the saints. As we make ready our brother's resting place, look also with favor on those who mourn and comfort them in their loss. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may the Lord bless him and keep him. May the Lord make his face shine upon him and be gracious to him. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and grant Anthony eternal peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. At this time, we will render military honors. This is your other family coming to say thank you. Thank you.
behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation, please accept these flags as an expression of appreciation for your loved ones and honorable and faithful service. This concludes our worship service. I would like to thank Chaplain Olson and our military personnel for being here today and for anyone who had anything to do with making this service what it was today. I would also thank you all for being here today. I know it means a great deal to the family and I know they want me to thank you. Um, the uh, family will be receiving their guests and please feel free to mingle and uh, share memories.